scleroderma is an orphan disease. About 80% of the patients with scleroderma have interstitial lung disease or lung fibrosis, of which 30 to 40% have progressive lung fibrosis. Lung fibrosis is the leading cause of mortality in scleroderma. And at this time and moment, we don't treat these patients till they develop clinically relevant ILD. And let me define what that is. These are patients who are symptomatic, they have a lot of fibrosis on HRCT, and they have abnormal lung functions. The problem with that is that scleroderma lung fibrosis is irreversible. So once you have developed significant ILD, you cannot revert it back. If you and I had lung fibrosis, we will not wait for the lung function to be abnormal before we treat it. So high mortality, irreversible disease, we are waiting too long, and fortunately, now we have therapies that are maybe available that can treat these patients early on and effectively. So scleroderma ILD at our, our center, our protocol first includes high resolution CT on every patient who has scleroderma. There's a lot of debate whether you should do a CAT scan in every patient, but at our center we do CAT scan in every patient. If they have ILD that we believe either will be progressive or already is clinical relevant, that's what I described before, those patients are given mycophenolate morphotil up to three grams a day in divided doses. Majority of the patients do have a response to that based on the scleroderma lung study 2 that was published in Lancet Respiratory Medicine. If they do not respond or do not tolerate, we add therapies such as cyclophosphamide or add rituximab. In a subset of patients that have very progressive ILD, we do offer stem cell transplantation to those patients. Yeah, so the tocilizumab or Actemra is an anti-IL-6 receptor antagonist. And there's ample data now showing that interleukin-6 plays a very important role in pathogenesis of scleroderma, including lung fibrosis. One such relevant data comes from Royal Brompton Hospital, where they showed elevated IL-6 is a predictor of progressive lung fibrosis. So the clinical trial was a phase three trial of tocilizumab in patients who have early scleroderma or early systemic sclerosis within the first five years and they had elevated acute phase reactants defined as greater than upper limit of normal. These patients were randomized one to one to sub-Q weekly tocilizumab or placebo for a period of one year. Because we know that interleukin-6 plays such an important role in ILD, because the phase two data that we published in Lancet showed clinically meaningful effects in preservation of lung function with tocilizumab, we included HRCT in every patient before and at the end of the trial. What we found, unfortunately, that modified rotten skin score, which is a marker of skin thickness, was statistically non-significant. However, we were able to replicate the data from phase two, where we showed in this trial that tocilizumab has clinically meaningful benefits in very early ILD. Majority of the patients had a forced vital capacity of 82%, which we consider quote unquote normal. They had a diffusion capacity of about 75%, normal to a little bit depressed. They had 64% of those patients had evidence of ILD at HRCT at baseline. The study did not recruit patients with ILD, but just by the virtue of enrichment of our population, 64% of these patients had ILD. What we found in the trial is that one in four patients who were treated with placebo had an absolute decline of 10% or more. That's a very large decline. On average, placebo group declined by 250 ml. On the contrary, patients who were treated with tocilizumab had preservation of their lung function with real no decline during the course of the study. One in four patients in placebo had a decline of 10% or more compared to 8.6% in the tocilizumab arm. One take home message is that tocilizumab in a highly enriched cohort, early diffuse scleroderma with elevated acute phase reactants, preserves lung function in those with ILD and those without ILD and they, it was very well tolerated and there were no safety signals.